Tonight, we are getting our first look at how voters in New Hampshire are reacting to the big shakeup on the Democratic ticket for president. And it shows a new candidate in the lead. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Marissa Tansino. And I'm Steve Botari. So one month ago, Donald Trump was ahead. As our Russ Keschke reports live tonight from Manchester, Russ, two polls now put Vice President Kamala Harris in the lead here in the Granite State. Yeah, guys, the pollsters that we spoke with say this new data really captures a groundswell of support around the vice president as the Democratic nominee. We went into the field several days after Vice President Harris uh, decided to run for president. A presidential bump for Democrats in New Hampshire. Two new polls, each showing Kamala Harris now leading Donald Trump among Granite State voters. New Hampshire now has gone from potentially a Trump win and now back to the Democratic win. A poll last month from the New Hampshire Institute of Politics gauged voters in the wake of President Joe Biden's disastrous debate performance. It found Trump with a two-point lead over the Democrat. But flash forward just one month to a race with a new candidate and a new outlook. The NHIOP poll giving Harris a six-point edge over the Republican. <laughs> A new field of high-profile Democrats are now hitting the road to important swing states ahead of next month's convention. Today, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, who's co-chairing Harris's campaign, met with voters in Nashua. We are seeing people calling to volunteer where it was hard to get people to come in. We're seeing fundraising numbers go up. So I believe that we are going to be very competitive in all of the swing states. Meanwhile, Republicans are wasting no time going on offense against their new opponent, launching attack ads and taking aim at the VP on the campaign trail. New Hampshire GOP chairman Chris Ager tells News 9 Harris may be a new name on the ballot, but she represents the same Biden administration policies that he argues have been bad for Granite Staters. The last time Kamala Harris was on the ballot here, she dropped like a rock because people saw what she was about and she ended up at 3% and then dropping out of the primary. I think the same thing is going to happen in this presidential election. And Ager says that the New Hampshire GOP also has some high profile Republicans on the calendar set to come here to the Granite State before the general election. Now, don't forget, this state only has four electoral college votes up for grabs, but in a race that is expected to be so tight and with every swing state so important, those four votes could be the difference for who wins the White House. In Manchester, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.